I think you've got to be happy. I think, you know, like any support, you know, you'd always want a little bit more and you'd always want the uh, the very best of players in. Uh, but saying that, I've been happy with the, uh, you know, the work Jürgen's done. He's brought some very good players in. He feels as though he needs, um, you know, maybe, maybe another player, maybe at the back. Uh, just to steady things down. I think it's been been good. We won't, I don't think we'll probably see it to the end of the season and assess it probably to the end of the season. But um, I think you know, assess it compared to previous transfer windows. I think it's, it'll be, it'll, in the long run it'll be a lot better personally. Again, football's all about opinions, you know. And I think uh, Klopp's a wonderful manager. I think he has the right idea. It's uh, you know, but it takes time for players to to settle in. I mean, everyone's raving on about your back line. Again, I'm sure Klopp knows, and I'm sure he understands exactly what he needs and what he needs to what needs to happen. I think he's brought some good players, but it's still early days. Um, obviously, the results haven't been fantastic. Yeah, the win against Arsenal, Arsenal was good in terms of that, but there's still a lot of things that we, we feel we could do better. And I, I will go back to what I've just said. Uh, you know, as, as a supporter, you know, you always want you know your squad to be you know bigger and better than everyone else's. Uh, and that means signing a load of players. You know, I know it's not really possible all the time because um, you know too many people in the squad sort of uh, ruins the uh, the morale a little bit. So, yeah, look, I mean, I think it's uh, it's a, it's a good team, it's a good squad he's put together, and uh, you know, hopefully, it's not finished yet. I think there'll be more to come as well. Um, I don't want to be slow to Mourinho, but he's got a bit of stick at it is because I think the lad's got ability. But again, somewhere along the line, for me, he's, he's got to improve his end product. In, in the attacking role, he's certainly going to be better defensively. So, but I think he's got the ability to do that. But also, the, the answer is not just to play James Milner certainly there. Um, although James will never let anybody down the way he plays. But again, he's, he's always going to be coming in on his right foot rather than his left foot down there. So, so for me, if if and it's always a, if, if one's available, if there's a left back that he really fancies and he thinks it will be better than what we've got, I would certainly invest in that. So that's uh, that, and obviously defensively. Um, what we don't seem to have at the moment is a leader. We don't seem to have anybody to, to sort of stand there and ball and shout and scream. Likes of the Cadigans of this world, who, who again are fantastic for the for the football club. Maybe a, a left back, but that's obviously not that easy. You know, he's played two left backs already and it hasn't really worked. I'm not sure James Milner is a left back, um, and then maybe a defensive midfield player. But again, that's that's quite they're hard to find. You know, we've. You know, I, I'm not sure that it works with Jordan Henderson. I think he's, he's in, he wants to run forward. I think he's that sort of a player, and we, and we need maybe that someone's going to sit in there, and maybe that is an opportunity for Emre Chan. But apart from that, I think you know it's exciting. I think, I think we all know, don't we? You know, I think we've got a lot of options going forward when everyone's fit. Um, left back, you know, he, James Milner's not ideal there. He'll do a good job. Marino needs help. He, potentially, he could be a good player. But uh, it's not ideal at the moment, and, and I think everyone knows that. And uh, I think it's essential that you know Jurgen really tries to do something before the end of this month. Well, I think you know it could be for both fullbacks. You know, if, he, if that's what he's looking at, you know, it, it, it's one of those that he might feel it was comfortable with the, the middle two, but uh, maybe from the outside point of view, you know, we're leaking goals. That's 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 the problem. You know, three against Arsenal, two against Burnley. You know, we need to stop these, and where they're going to be coming from. It's from you know players breaking from the midfield, so I think uh, I think we need to shore up that that side of it, um, and the makeup of the team is for me isn't quite right at the moment. You know you've got a, a player James Milner playing left back, you know, and and you've got other players who are sort of like you know are they centre forwards, are they midfield players? So there's a bit of a mix up at the moment, but. Uh, you know, I can see what Jurgen Klopp is trying to do, but I think it's a little bit frustrating because the players at the moment aren't performing to the best of their ability. Look, that's the, for me again. You know, I'm I'm only starting my my coaching career, so again, I can't sit here and, and you know criticise that because he's got great players everywhere. But again, everyone's talking about you've got to you've got to um, you've got to be strengthening up the back line but again it's a team team game don't forget you know you attack as a team you defend as a team so everyone's got to be pulling their own weight I know what everyone wants me to say but look I'm one of these I think you should um, should focus every position I, I think you know the club decides or should I play two players in every position uh, you know players who, who are going to push each other and you know fight for that one place um, look I know uh, you know centre half you know left back right back I, I think we um I mean, the left back's obviously the big one where everyone, you know, that is the talking point. 
Uh, but I think obviously Moreno needs uh, someone to, to, to push him and help him because he's not, I don't think he's as bad as what people are making out. You know, I think his uh, positional sense at times for defender, you know, needs to be looked at. Uh, but, you know, I'm, I'm sure he'll be all right. But I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that, uh, you know, we, we get other players in to, to push other players in, in, in those positions. I, th I think you do need someone that wants to put out fires, that wants to sit in front. And a little, you know, they're, they're, but they're difficult to find, you know, a little bit like I say, in the Maniomatics or someone like that. And I think that's an area where we've got to try and find someone that can just plug holes when we do lose the ball. And because, as you've seen already, we are very easy to counter attack on, and that makes it. But difficult for the defenders. Well, I, I know you're the only person asked for that is Jurgen at the end of the day is the manager. Obviously, if he thinks he's got a, a, a place to, to, to or a place to, to come and do something for, it, then he has. But um, at this moment in time, he's obviously not playing him. He's not, not probably not. It doesn't look to be interested in playing him. So you've got to look at it. Maybe that he doesn't think he's going to keep him. So that that unfortunately is, is the way it will be. It's up to the manager, isn't it? You know, if, if he's done something wrong and he can't, you know, get it back to what it was, then. It becomes hard to tolerate each other. I don't know to what extent, what extreme it is between himself and what he's done. But first and foremost, you want to try and solve it. But it's up to the player then. You know, if he's done something wrong, he's got to, you know, buckle down and get on with it and do what the the manager of the club wants to do. And if you can't do that, then you you, you can't, you know, discipline. You've got to have discipline within the ranks. You always have. You're always going to have issues. That's part of the job. That's it's called. Most of it's not about the coaching side. It's about man management skills really trying to get players and become team players different different ways and everybody they've all got their own different um ways personalities and different ways of playing um but at the end of all they've got to make sure that that always blends in with what your team program is and um jürgen's obviously big on that and if you don't you don't conform and you don't do that your bit um it looks like he wants to get you out and to be fair i, I have no problem with that but sometimes be careful you don't cut your nose off to spite your face the one that excites me like here was manny you know, I, I like I like strikers that excite you, that score goals, that create goals, and and a positive. And he is. He gets the ball and looks forward all the time. Doesn't look sideways. Doesn't look behind. He looks what's in front and tries to do something positive. And you know, we've seen glimpses of him at Arsenal and at Barcelona and other games where he gets uh, he gets you off your seat. I think Mane is the player that I think stood out to everyone. You know, he was so exciting against Arsenal, and you could obviously see how much you missed him against Burnley. And so fast, and it gives us a different dimension. Well, Sadio Mane, he's, he's, he's got to be. I mean, I've got a lot of Liverpool friends, and they haven't been this excited about a signing since he's arrived. So it's got to be him. I mean, I've been impressed with the uh, Jurich. I think he's been. Um, he's been. I know he's not really played in any of the games, but he looked good in pre-season. Um, it's his movement, isn't yeah, it? The way he, he finds good. space on the edge of the box. Yeah, he was good, and he's. I mean, for the for the size of him, I mean, he's a young lad, and he's a, he's a big lad. I think him and he'll do well in the Premier League. I've been impressed with uh, Clavin as well. You know, all right, you never had a great game against Burnley, or you never had a great few minute, moments against Burnley, but he looked good in pre-season. He looked solid. Uh, all right, he's not maybe as quick as probably what you know you're expecting your centre half, but I mean his reading of the game was uh, was excellent, uh, and you know he talks, which is what you want uh, in a defender. So uh, yeah, I've been I've been impressed with him, uh, but you've got to probably say the pick of him's got to be Mane. I think he was outstanding against Arsenal. Unfortunately, he missed the, uh, the Burnley game, but um, I mean, he looks uh, he looks to stand up by thus far. So they were snippets from interviews that are only available on the RedmenTV.com. It's two pound a month. If you want to go and watch these videos with Robbie Fowler, Jamie Redknapp, and John Aldridge, head over there now. The first month is free, and there's some belter insights to be had.